Irv's wife will be the first to tell you he wasn't one for the limelight. In fact, if he had it his way, we'd never be telling you his remarkable story, a story that takes us halfway around the world. Irv Bailey loved this land. He lived between rolling wheat fields in St. John most his life, but his true passion extended beyond our border. There wasn't a man on earth that loved kids and, and got along with all of them as well as he did. Ten years ago, as Irv and Joanne prepared to retire, they watched a 2020 special on adopting children from China. He didn't let it go. He insisted that I look into it. A few months later, the couple traveled to China to get then 17-month-old Sammy. I think it was his calling. And once he went to China and seen these many, many children with with no homes and abandoned babies and orphanages and whatnot and we had a house with bedrooms and why not he loved them in the past 10 years irv and joanne adopted six kids from china sammy annie shania ellie luke and levi i just thought you'd always be there for me on saturday irv died while helping a friend with a combine in a field a couple miles away 14 year old sammy can't believe her dad is now gone i think it's really helped that we are strong and that we are really close and that we have each other to lean on. It's very hard, yeah. I can do most anything, but the hole in my heart is not fixed. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm mourning very hard for Irvin, but we will deal with it. All six kids wrote letters to their dad to be read tomorrow during his memorial service. I don't think we really told him how much he meant to us. He knew. And it's clear his love will never die. He was a good man, a good father, a, a good person to help children. And what's certainly amazing is Irv and Joanne inspired dozens of couples, including yourself. Yes, we met Irv and Joanne at an adoption conference a long time before we'd even started our adoption process. Mm -hmm. He would not let us let go <laughs> of the idea, and we did go ahead, and we've adopted two from China. That is Irv with our oldest daughter, Sophie, who is now wow. seven. And what is amazing is he and Joanne, when they were adopting their fourth daughter, Ellie, took a huge journey out of their way to go visit Sophie. That is in an orphanage in China uh, so they could get these precious pictures of her for us. They spent about 45 minutes with her. We didn't know didn't know anything about her wow. and then delivered these pictures and that information on Christmas Eve um, and he held our hand through the entire adoption process and continued to love on my children and there are Chinese children throughout the Inland Northwest who are mourning Irv Bailey and love him and his family. Well, what a gift and certainly uh, folks who have been impacted by his life have an opportunity to honor him tomorrow. There'll be a funeral at St. John High School at 10 a.m. An account to help the kids with college has also been set up. We put all that information on our website at kxoy.com.